Hi, this is Dental Basics and I am Dr. Parvati Raghavan talking about the foramen through which the 12 cranial nerves exit the skull and mnemonics. I am going to mention only the cranial nerves and their respective foramen and not any other structures that may come out through the same foramen. Image 1 is of the interior of the skull base with anterior, middle and posterior cranial fossa. The cranial nerves that originate from the brain pass out of different openings in the bony fossae to various structures in the head and neck. Image 2 shows how the anterior, middle and posterior cranial fossa are positioned in relation to the other skull bones in general. Let us do a little about the origin of the cranial nerves so that we can relate them to their respective foramen. Here is the forebrain. Below is the brainstem, which is actually the midbrain and pons and medulla put together. The 12 cranial nerves are in pairs. That is, there is two of each of the cranial nerve. One and two originate from the forebrain, three and four from the midbrain, five, six, seven, eight from pons, nine, 10, 11, 12 from medulla. This is the image of the midbrain, pons, and medulla and the position and location in the brain. Here is the anterior and this is the posterior aspect of the brain. Now let us start with the nerves and foramen. One olfactory nerve comes out of the cribriform foramina present in the cribriform plate in the anterior cranial fossa. The cribriform plate is perforated like a seam and these small cribriform foramina allow the passage of the olfactory nerve from the forebrain to the roof of the nasal fossa. This is the bony profile of the face with the anterior cranial fossa with the big yellow elongated olfactory bulb sending a lot of olfactory nerves to the roof of the nasal fossa. Two is the optic nerve. Passes out of the cranium through the optic foramen. Look at the middle cranial fossa. The optic foramen is present near the anterior margin of the middle cranial fossa. You can see two optic foramen. The optic foramen transmits the optic nerve from the forebrain through the optic canal to the orbital cavity. A canal is a tubular passage. On the right you can see the next structure that is the superior orbital fissure. This is the image of the skull. Let us enlarge the orbit here. Moving to the right in this image too, these are the different bones making up the orbit. This is the optic foramen's opening in the orbit. The optic nerve passes through the optic foramen in the middle cranial fossa, then the optic canal and reaches here. Above the orbit is the frontal bone. Below, you can see the zygomatic bone. Medially, the nasal bones and finally, the superior orbital fissure. A fissure is an elongated groove. Coming out of the superior orbital fissure are 3. Oculomotor nerve 4. Trochlear nerve 5. 1. Ophthalmic branch of trigeminal nerve and 6. Abducent nerve. For the remaining nerves and their foramen, look at this image of the middle and posterior cranial fossa. Let us first learn the location of the foramen and their names. So we have foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, internal acoustic meatus, jugular foramen, hypoglossal foramen. Phi 2, maxillary branch of trigeminal nerve, foramen rotundum. Phi 3, mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve, foramen ovale. 7, facial nerve. 8, vestibular cochlear nerve, both through the internal acoustic meatus. 9, glossopharyngeal. 10, vagus. 11, accessory. All three pass out through the jugular foramen. 12, hypoglossal nerve. 
through hypoglossal foramen. It is a bit easy to recollect these names if you know their meanings. So in Latin, rotundum means round, ovale means oval shape, acoustic in Latin is anything related to sound, meatus is a passage or opening leading to the interior of the body, jugulum in Latin is throat or anything relating to throat, hypo is under and gloss is tongue. Finally now the mnemonics. Yellow words are the nerves and black words are the foramen. Baby all lay in the crib. Olfactory nerve, cribriform foramina. Papa optic sneaked out, drove through the optic foramen to meet his college friends. Optic nerve, optic foramen. Not three, not four, not five, but six of his friends came out of the superior orbital fissure to meet him. Three, four, five, one, and six cranial nerve through the superior orbital fissure. V2 and V3 had a fight. That is second branch of fifth nerve and third branch of fifth nerve. V2 sat at the round table, second branch, fifth nerve for Raymond Rotundum. V3 sat at the oval table, third branch, fifth nerve for Amen Oval. In the meatus, eight acoustics played the seventh symphony, seventh and eighth cranial nerve through the internal acoustic meatus. They ordered a jug full of juice made of nine, ten, eleven fruits, ninth, tenth, eleventh cranial nerve through jugular foramen. Poured it on hypoglossal till 12. 12 cranial nerve, hypoglossal foramen. This finishes the mnemonics. Now for a quick recap of the cranial nerves in foramen. 1. Cribriform. 2. Optic. 3, 4, 5, 1, 6. Superior orbital fissure. 5, 2, rotundum. 5, 3, ovale. 7, 8, internal acoustic meatus, 9, 10, 11, jugular, 12, hypoglossal. Let us correlate all of these to the image now. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 6, 5, 2, 5, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. If you like this, share it and try to remember to click on the like button below and subscribe.